A 22-year-old Ann Arbor man grateful to the people who jumped into action to save him during a drowning accident. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Brian Abel. And I'm Glenda Lewis. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig talked to him and the woman who knew what to do to revive him. Jermaine Atkins doesn't remember anything that happened here in the Huron River the day he nearly died. He's just grateful that Good Samaritan saw him go under, pulled him out, and breathed life back into him. Hello. Hello. Hi, 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 hi. We're at the docks right now, and there is a kid that was swimming, and like there's three people trying to look for him, but he went under, and like they can't find him. The lifeless body pulled from the water by Good Samaritans was Jermaine Atkins the second. I just remember um, leaving work earlier that day, and from then on, it was blank. Atkins had gone underwater, and as Ann Arbor police rushed to the scene, Good Samaritans were already trying to save him, first pulling him out of the water. Margarita Howells was there that day. She's trained in CPR and got the deck ready. I'm throwing phones, I'm throwing backpacks, throwing towels, you know, just to clear a little area so we can put him there and assess him when he gets to the dock. A lot of times with calls like this, you hope you know some element that's not true. Maybe you know by the time you get there, the person's up walking around. That wasn't the case. It was pretty pretty accurate what what dispatch had given us. The girl across from me started compressions, and I was doing mouth to mouth. And once she started getting tired, I took over compressions, and that's when. EMS arrived. We started compressions and rescue breath. Jermaine spent a week at the University of Michigan Hospital, some of those days in a coma, but he's grateful to the Good Samaritans and first responders, some recently honored by the city of Ann Arbor. That's where Jermaine got to thank them all. Help of a lot of people, starting off with first with the people who helped me out of the water, and then a huge part was Margaret, Margarita, who started CPR and made a space and kept a level head wait to save me, start start the process of saving my life. Jemaine, Margarita, and the Ann Arbor Police now encouraging people to learn CPR. Margarita began her CPR training as a Girl Scout. She's worked in the medical field and just started nursing school at Eastern Michigan University. You never know when it's going to happen. You never know where it's going to happen. Like, I wasn't expecting to do CPR on my first day off of work in a swimsuit on the dot. Like, that's not something you expect to happen and plan for. You just have to have that knowledge and know how and when to use it. In Ann Arbor, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.